What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So today I have something a little bit different, something I wanted to talk to you about and something that's honestly been bothering me for quite some time. There was a time where I almost got stabbed by a certain individual while I was in the road looking for bandits. Now, if you're seeing this on the Franco TV channel, I wanna share this with you guys because I know there's a lot of adventurers out there that are gonna be going to certain places like Chile or maybe even dangerous Santiago, just like I was. This is like a bandit central. This is where all the people go, migrate to do thievery, stealing, violence, and possibly even getting hurt or killed. I did decide to venture through this area in which things take a dark turn. However, the reason why I'm bringing this back up is because I just found out some new information and which is why I'm gonna even show the face of the perpetrator that almost stabbed me so that way you guys could be aware of it. It might even be on the thumbnail, but whatever. This is what happened and I wanna show you the new footage that the news articles also got and he's in it. Anyway, this is how the video starts if you haven't seen it. So basically the video starts off with me walking. I'm pretty much saying that my objective is to see if I could sneakingly be able to catch pretty much pickpocketing, thievery going on, or even women just like beating the heck out of people because usually what they do is they beat up people that they find stealing. Uh, but if you're a tourist like me, you don't really have anyone backing you up and it's just kind of you. But thank God I actually did. Some lady came out of nowhere and helped me out. As I make the turn here towards the right, I want you guys to be paying very close attention to the most tallest gentleman you're gonna see with a white shirt and a book bag just walking down. I, I didn't even think I was gonna get early into the game being able to spot him, but you could even see him down there now, just right there with that book bag. He's walking, he's the tallest gentleman there. Apparently this is like a whole organization that goes on there. There's even a guy named El Capo that's also there in the background. They all work together and they all protect each other. The only ones that aren't protecting them are the people working. But as you can see here, he's gonna turn back and this is where he sees me and unknowingly to me, he already makes me his target. Not yet, wait for it. This is where he goes and stares at me and he gives me the eye and I think he even notices my camera but he's shocked that I'm recording, I don't know why. At that case, at this point, he already has a knife that I don't even know that's there. I don't even notice it because I just didn't know what the heck was going on. He's already threatening me at this point and I think what he's saying is for me to go with him to a back alley. I'm gonna pause it right here. Now at this point, I do not know what the heck is going on. I'm confused. He, in my mind, he's not even my target. I'm looking for people stealing and I purposely went with nothing on me. So in that case, I don't think I am a target. I don't have anything on me to steal, but I was still gonna be one of his victims because you know, that's just how life is. There's no reasons for anything sometimes. Things are run by chaos at times and sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. And I should have reacted quicker and just got the hell out of there. But uh, nope, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't understand what happened. However, at this point now, I don't know that what he's trying to do, so I didn't really want to show his face, just in case maybe he thought I was a thief, or maybe he, I just didn't know. I just like, maybe there's a one good scent that it's not what I expected, and it could be something different. But no, this guy is as bad as they come. I'm gonna go ahead and start the video now. As you can see, he starts confronting me, yelling at me, telling me to go with him to a certain area, and some lady comes in, and that's where the video cuts off at. And uh, at this point, the lady's saying, what's going on, what's going on? I think she was aware that he's also a bandit, but again, it's still not registering yet. I just realized this guy pulled out a knife for no reason. So I did what I could, and as she starts talking, I paused the camera, put it in my pocket, because I was ready to run. Um, at that point, I made it like a good five, 10 feet, then 20 feet, kept going out to where I was out of sight. And that was the end of that. No escalations from there. There was a particular moment that got me is that as he was walking away and I thought the threat was done for and it's been you know pretty much disarmed, he decides to turn around and is going straight for me. His whole body attention is like right on me. At this point now is where I realize he's either gonna beat me up, stab me, I don't know what the hell's going on. And that's when it hit me that this wasn't normal. It just wasn't normal. Nothing happened. I, I am apologizing to him for anything and I just keep walking. So that kind of made me feel, I, I was confused to be honest. It's really weird. If this wasn't happening, I have a different perception of how I would have taken it because I have a well thought right now. But when your adrenaline is pumping, your blood's going, your stomach's starting to hurt because you're in a fight or flight mode, 
This is your body giving you the energy you need to, to fight and defend yourself to get yourself out of there. I went back to the house, I started thinking about it and I was like, well, I'm gonna cover the face, show you guys because quite honestly, I was just kind of a bit confused. But then something emerges from the news article in Chile, Santiago. El reportaje es de Raúl Poblete y Camilo Zavala. La denuncia también nos advierte que entre el grupo de lanzas que acostumbra a delinquir por esta calle peatonal hay uno que es de estatura alta, de contextura corpulenta, viste de camisa y casi siempre está acompañado por una mujer. No nos costó mucho descubrir quién era. También lo seguimos. Parece conocer a varios de esta calle. Los saluda y abraza con afecto, pero no pierde la vista en lo ajeno. Sin ir más lejos, aquí acaba de identificar algo. Atención, ella siempre lo acompañará. Ve aún más de cerca y acecha su objetivo. Sí, y su compañera le presta una suerte de cobertura. Desaparece por segundos, pero al rato regresa y cambia su vestimenta para no ser reconocido. Siempre hará lo mismo. Este es otro día. También lo vimos. Ahora viste pantalón corto y lleva mascarilla. Se pasea constantemente. Al parecer se repetirá la acción. Ella hará el marcaje para que la víctima no lo vea. La denuncia parece ser efectiva. Aparte de los lanzazos, hemos comprobado otro tipo de situaciones. El capo de Paso de Puente, that, that's one of the other people you're going to see in this video. And this was actually sent to me by a viewer. And I was like, oh my God, you actually caught the individual that actually tried to stab me. I'm going to kind of talk over it because it's in Spanish and I know a lot of you guys don't speak Spanish. That's a district. That's another bandit. Look at this. He's getting, I saw that kid there, the one that you saw with the purple shirt. I seen him, that's El Capo. That's the guy that apparently everybody goes to. That's the kid that I seen. He was actually, okay, I'm gonna pause it right here. He's actually one of the kids that I seen previously before me making that video there. I was like, what am I gonna do for a cool vlog video? And just walking through there, because I was walking without my camera at that point, and you start seeing a lady, choro, 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 which means bandit, thief, thief, thief. And she's hitting him, hitting him, and he's walking away and literally they get beat up and as they walk off or run away for a little bit they brush it up and get right back into the game again like if it's some sort of predatorial instinct where they're just going in finding a victim and stealing what they want to get and uh getting back out of there and these people get a so strategic where they're dressed up properly and you would never even think that they're a choro or a you know a bandit let's get into the video as you can see, he just stole a girl's headset from her head. This is the same guy, same body type. In fact, look at what he's wearing and, and whatnot. He actually is known to be walking with some other lady, which was not with him uh, when I was there. It was just him solo. But that's him there, and I think that's the lady there also trying to like be a bit of a defense. It's kind of like a distraction type of thing. Uh, sleight of hand, pretty much. And then she kind of obscures other people's view. But that's definitely him. You could see his haircut, the line, his face, uh, and look at the video where I was at. Kind of makes me get my blood pressure going. See how he steals that? Oh my God. The thing is that I walk through there all the time and it's just weird seeing it on a perspective, but these people did an undercover investigation where they're watching from the windows and making sure that they could catch all the bandits going on there. And I'm pretty sure there's warrants for these people's arrests. If not, there should be. Uh, but yeah, that guy just got robbed and El Capo was beating the hell out of him. I want you to see this guy, the, the main guy that I got encountered with. He's the one that I couldn't believe that they caught on to. There is pictures I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. He also does have a tattoo on his arm that says Carolina. And he also has a knife marking going right up his arm because he was cut really bad. So if you guys are in that area, this is pretty much for educational purposes. Be on the lookout. In fact, I would advise you to, to completely avoid that area uh, if you're not trying to do what I was doing, but just avoid that area because it could get dangerous for no reason at all. Um, but yeah, as you see, 
He's got his name of Carolina and the tattoo thing. I don't know why he's cut up on the arm. Maybe that was a failed knife fight or maybe he got wounded in a knife fight. I don't know. But I know the purpose of his book bag now. See how he's putting on a shirt on this next scene? He takes his shirt off, puts another shirt on, robs from someone else, and then runs away, takes off his shirt so he's wearing a different disguise, and he goes right back down the alley again, repeating the same offenses. It's kind of upsetting because it pisses me off because I could have been one of those people and I now I understand what someone else's feels. You feel the anger afterwards and this is kind of why I wanted you guys to see this video because um, it's upsetting. It's upsetting. These are, look, oh, these are older people. They're tourists. They have to wear their book bags in the front so people don't steal what they have on the inside. And uh, yeah, and that's other stuff that the news article covered on what they do there. Um, Again, this is completely undercover. That's not something you're supposed to be doing there. Um, but that's kind of like the undercover business that Mr. El Capo here is doing. That's cocaine. And then they take the money, put it in their pockets, keep going. And as of right now, I'm starting to feel a lot better. I wanted to be open with you guys on it more than me blocking the video. I know I had a lot of people, why are you covering his face if he did that? And to me at the moment, I wasn't I wanted to be clear of my senses because when you're emotionally in thought, you do stupid things. So it's better to just be clear-minded when it's off your chest and you feel a lot better where you want to go about it. I do not encourage you guys to go there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen, learned something. Um, and I know this isn't part of my typical videos, but this is something I do want to show you as far as what happens behind the scenes as well. And uh, if you're hearing a lot of cars going on behind me, so I have the windows open, it's hot. Not a lot of people like AC units out here. So I have like a fan that is temporarily off until I'm done with this video. But anyway, I hope you guys learned something today. Be careful on what you're doing because this happens everywhere, not just in Chile, Santiago. This even happens in the United States and behind your backyard. It could be happening to your neighbor right now as you're watching. That being said, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something today. And until then, I will see you on our next adventure. Bye, guys.